Okay, so we have three consecutive positive, positive even integers such that the product of the second and third integers is 20 more than 10 times the first. So just start by thinking about the way we're going to describe these positive even integers. Right, we'll have x and then x plus 2 and then x plus 4. Three even integers in a row. Think of 2, 4, and 6. We can always express them in terms of 2. 2 and then 2 plus 2 is 4 and then 2 plus 4 is, is 6. So this would actually express three consecutive even integers. Now they tell us that if we multiply the second and third, right, they say the product of the second and third, so x plus 2 is the second brother, or second number, excuse me, x plus 4 is the third number, and that is equal to 20 more, so 20 plus 10 times the first integer. Okay, we're trying to find these numbers. So we have this, so this equation, we can solve it. Distribute the x, x times x is x squared, x times 4 is 4x, 2 times x is 2x, using the distributive property here, and 2 times 4 is 8. And that equals 20 plus 10x. Subtract 20, subtract 10x, both sides, right? So here, just going to take a little shortcut, right? Because 4x and 2x is 6x, so I'll think of those two as being combined. Minus 10x is negative 4x. 8 minus 20 is negative 12, and so we have x squared minus 4x minus 12 equals 0. And we can solve this, so we can factor, right? So how would we factor x squared minus 4x minus 12? Well, what I would do is I'd look for fa um, factors of negative 12 that add to negative 4. So um, the factor pair I'll use is negative 6 and positive 2. If I multiply those two, I get negative 12. But if I add them, I get negative 4. So negative 6, positive 2, and I factored it out. Now the product of these two terms is 0, right? x minus 6, x plus 2. That's zero. So one or other, or the, both of them have to be zero. So we set them both equal to zero, assuming they are zero, and see what we can find. So x minus six is zero, add six to both sides, x equals six. x plus two is zero, subtract two from both sides, and x equals negative two. Well, the, the, the number here we're not gonna use is negative two because remember that's a negative number, and they told us that we're looking for positive numbers, right, right in the beginning, positive even integers. So we'll use 6, and then 8 will be the next one. So we have 6, 8, and 10, and that's it. And we can test it out, or we should, right? Because they told us if you multiply 8 and 10, that's equal to 20 more than, than 10 times 6, right? So is that true? Yes, right? 8 times 10 is 80, and 10 times 6 is 60, and if we had to add 20 to 60 to get 80. So this, this works.